So this is where all of our architecture students are. We've got huge studio spaces for everybody to use. Okay. So again, so all architecture students here yeah, who use this sort of thing. If we can get in one of the labs. So a huge bonus. You actually, this is a kitchen block and the students can stay there, right? The topic of architecture and urban planning has become quite popular recently. No wonder, because along with the emergence of new technologies, people began to rethink the image of modern cities to make them more convenient, to create modern architecture and design. And the profession of architect is more and more often on the list of professions of the future, especially its highly specialized variations. In this issue, Mariadi and your guide to the world of foreign education, Adil, will show you where you can study to be an architect, and not somewhere out there, but in the very center of London, at the Department of Architecture at the University of Westminster. And the representative of the University of Westminster will help, Richard. Let's get acquainted. And uh, uh, Richard uh, works uh, in a student uh, recruitment uh, department. Can we That's right here, yeah, international one. International recruitment here at the University of Westminster. It's one of the buildings because you have four? Yes, we have four campuses in London. Four campuses, okay. Yeah, so four campuses in London. Today we're on our Marleybone campus okay. where we teach business. So we have our large business school here in Marleybone okay. and also our school of architecture. So I'm in the right place. You're in the right place, yeah. And the very good uh, location as well uh, of the campus. So, yeah, we're right by Baker Street Tube Station, so very central London, so right in the heart of the city. Madame Tussauds? Yeah, I've never been to Madame Tussauds, no but it's way. a dossier road there, and I've never been. So, Sherlock Holmes Museum? Yes, Sherlock Holmes Museum down the road, Yeah, and Regent's Park about five minutes walk. It's fortunate to get, so biking, it's all walking distance, basically, walking distance. all walking distance. The University of Westminster is a medium-sized university by English standards, 19,000 students. And the four campuses Richard mentioned are also located in London and specialize in other, no less interesting subjects. Cavendish Campus, on Sciences Campus Regent, on Humanities, Harrow, on creative subjects such as fashion and film production, there's a major for everyone. And we're on the Marylebone campus and they teach architecture and also have a very prestigious business school here. And we have a separate video on our channel for those who are interested in economics and business majors. You can find it at the link in the description. Now let's dive into architecture. Let's go to the corner and we're going to go to the architecture studios and then back down to the fabrication laboratories. Okay, excellent. So uh, uh, this year is a purple and silver theme. That's right. I don't know why purple and silver, but it's uh, I don't know. I don't know if it's on trend in fashion. It's nothing to do with the corporate cars, no? Uh, maybe. Maybe. Uh, but corporate cars are more the, the green and the yellow. Oh, is it? Okay. Sorry. Our first stop is the Architect Studios, a place where future incredible projects are created. So, so you don't have access everywhere for some uh, reason. For some reason, for some reason, there's no way to do some does. So this is where all of our architecture students are. We've got huge studio spaces for everybody to use. So again, we can work in teams, work with our colleagues. Here's that's my over two story. So, so what's this clay work as well? I mean, yeah, yeah interesting. I'll touch it, please, sir. Yeah, please. Was working. Yeah, so I don't know that. Been, been very gentle. Oh no, no, it's lunch. Okay. So they're using you for building things, with snare eyes. You've got the two stories as well, all the natural light up here. So it's good positive work, good studio space. So it's almost like a civil engineering in a way. Yes, we do urban design as well. Urban design, yeah. So I think through architecture, environmental design as well. For structure, you have to decide. Yeah, what this one? Yes, I just read on all the way to the house. On your... what, what do you think of this roof? Well, it's like like a pregnant it's like a pregnant woman maybe. This she it you see that you see a neighbor. <laughs> Further along, so all the artists you will in it. So we're through. Two more two? Yeah. Right, so I think I was working. Good mm. 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 
we find the log structure there a lot longer than any of the structures. So we want to be there using the facilities, the work on the long hours to make sure that work is good. Ah, uh, they stay late, yeah? Ah, see. So. Why? What? Why? Ah, oh, those cables. So what are they for? Yeah? They're power points. Yeah, power points. So you used to move them around, the students be used kind of power. So you can sit wherever you want, because often you can change the space around as much as you want. Yeah. Oh, I see. Okay, so to make it more flexible. Yeah, it's a really flexible working space, yeah. With interior design, it is simple. It is the designer's choice of finishing materials, furniture, and decor. But interior architecture combines three disciplines, interior design, architecture as such, and industrial design. Together, they form a unified vision of space, a very deep and highly specialized profession. So if you want to study architecture at the University of Westminster or any other foreign institution, Mariadi is at your service. We will be happy to help you with your choice, explain the differences between specialties, point out the peculiarities of educational institutions, and of course, help you with admission. And you can leave a request for yours in any convenient way from the description to this video. And here's where the student's work is exhibited, right at the university, can you imagine? Exhibition space, so ah. where we have our exhibitions, exhibitions of student work will be there. Ah, right, okay. So, just a quick look. Have a look. So that's one. Can you help? Huh? Can you help? So, right, there's... Uh, you must, uh, if you've not grabbed them already, there are um, both uh, catalogues for the documentary photography and photojournalism course on the table up there. I thought oh, I'd go and get oh, you one. Oh, thank and you so much. And also a set of postcards. So I'll go and get you a set of both oh. if you've got a second or two. Oh, right. Okay. Just, just, one, uh, just one for my friend here. Like, just one. I work at the university, so I work at the But photography... Yes, we have exhibition up here for different things. So it could be architecture, it could be arts. Uh, we've got two galleries at the university, so this is one of the galleries. But this gentleman is part of the university? Or yeah, he's just... Oh, okay. So it's from the photography courses? We'll see when we get the... Because uh, <laughs> we do have some from the phone book, but also some which are from um, ex uh, exhibitors. Hi. Oh, thank there you very much. These are from the photography arts and these are from the documentary and photojournalism. Oh, right, so, okay. Very well. Well, and the most interesting part of the designer's work, creating their works in specialised workshops, and there's a whole floor of them at Westminster. Let's have a look. Ah, and this, uh, this, that's where the whole, whole fun part... Yeah, whole fun part, the CNC there. Yeah. And then to go, so you can see all the different things. They do Fab Fest every year, which is kind of a competition in fielding and designing. And so you enter a competition every year. It's like a design and technology one K. It's all architecture students, yeah. Who's this? So the... If we can get in one of the labs, can we try? See, maybe we'll find someone. Mm -hmm. Because I love this place, is there? You want to try? You want to try your magic card? Well, yeah. My worry is that. See so, so if it works. Well, if it works, then we can. Simple as that. Yeah, front touch anything like that. Yeah. Well, that's, yeah. We won't touch it. Don't touch any any sharp machinery. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Health and safety. Okay. This is a looks like a milling machine. No, wheel mill. The windmill. Wind, 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 yeah. wind, windmill. Windmill. Windmill machine. My God, there's some machinery which I've never seen before. Have a look at this. Let's get closer. We won't, we won't. Don't worry. You won't get in trouble. Don't worry. <laughs> Blame me. I said this is a robotics lab. Yeah. The, what, this? Yeah. This is so cool. So what does it do? Ah. ah. It is a milling machine, but it's a... Like a 3D or something. 3D. Yeah, this thing is quite interesting. And this is also some sort of cutter. Well, this is the mill room, so I'm assuming it's another milling machine, yeah. 
Actually, what you need, generally, really have is an architect to show you. Yeah, do whatever it it's like one economist, another <laughs> finances trying to figure out uh, what's what. We will ask some of the students. Well, of course we've found one. They're going to explain everything to us now. Oh, yeah. Now we'll have a look at what you're doing. What is it you do? What's your project? It's um, designing a, like a brick. A brick? Yeah. So this is, this is a mold that I can cast. Oh, nice. Okay. And well, what material is this? The high density high. Okay. So you have... That's not meant to happen. <laughs> it's not because of us, is it? No, no, no. <laughs> Don't worry. So you have to model it first? Model it. You yeah. Then you put it to, you're on the software and then cut it with this. And uh, which which um, mm, software do you use for modeling? Rhino. Rhino. Is it, this is industry standard, I'm guessing, yeah? Yeah, for a lot of product design and, and yeah, building components of them. Oh, my God, there's something going on before me. Yeah, so can you quickly explain, my friend, what this is? This is like a 3D printer. These are 3D printers, yeah, so they're, they're printing with this, this PLA, this plastic. Yeah, and it's to a print, so this is where you, you make a design and then print out a, a model of it, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's quite, it's quite quick. Quick? Well... You can get a lot of complexity quite easily, yeah. a complex model. It's quicker uh, than carving it out yourself. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, they, they print human organs nowadays as well. Yeah, yeah I've heard. It's, it's, yeah. It's, it's crazy. If it's today, what's tomorrow, huh? Yeah. And this is all the student work, right? Yeah, I think it's just these examples of what you can do with with, here, with the different pieces. Are you an uh, architect student? Well, yeah, master, masters of Are you masters? Did you do your postgrad here? Yeah. Undergrad. Oh, I'm sorry, undergrad. The big point. Yeah, plenty. Sorry. Yeah, but okay. But you decided to come to London. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Why not? Why not? In June? Yeah. I'm, uh, yes. It, it looks like. But, it's but, nice to be able to use all this stuff because last. Year, what about this uh, big, big machine over there? It's it's pretty much the same as this. Uh, yeah, I think it's a big version of um, a big version of this. Oh, and no, no. that's a robot arm. So that's yeah. What, what a was similar that? thing, but it. It is. It can come from lots of different angles. Uh -huh. So that one is limited to just, just various kind of. You cut from the side as well. And sides, and you can put like all sorts. All so sorts all like things on the end. Sculpture, sculpture, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, completely. I think there's something on the front there. Yeah, the, um, the white kind of. And how do you know how precise it is? Is it like super super precise? Really. And probably you have uh, different, uh, it can, can be those drills, can be very small as well. Yeah, together, together, I know. Interesting, all right. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Oh, sorry. Good. Yeah. You probably enjoyed it yourself, huh? Hmm? So a huge bonus, you actually, this is a kitchen block and the students can stay there, right? Yeah, that's right. This one of the halls of residence is right One of them. We have lots of halls of residences, so this one is mainly used by our postgraduate students. Well, for, for London, it's such a great Fantastic. benefit, right. isn't it? Right. Yeah, exactly. Oh, no, don't say that, people do. <laughs> yeah, people do. Really? Pyjama and slippers. How's coffee good? Always... Amazing, yeah, fantastic. Where, where, where are you from? Of course, coffee is fantastic if it's Italian, yeah. There you go, a hostel in the heart of London, door to door with the academic building. So wake up, wash up, leave the room, grab a delicious coffee on the way, and there you are at lecture. You will not have to think about where to find accommodation in London, which, by the way, is quite a complicated thing to do, and also spend time on the road to the classroom. This is another huge plus. And if you're wondering where the rest of the hostels are, we will be happy to tell you during your consultation. But back to the topic of architecture. And different, different materials. Yeah. Ah, this is the high-density form. That's what he meant. Yes, this is the high-density bone, which are you doing? And this is, I think, was a competition, was it, for... Pattern. For patterns and uh, looking at... Geographic data, patterns of... Inter interference. Okay. Yeah. Great. Very interesting. 
Yeah, so, yeah, so this fabrication laboratory, though, it runs all the way under the building. There's different laboratories. They're different from the intro one to use. And then we also have down here... We also have... Uh, if I can find them, ex- entrance to all the computer rooms. Let's have a look. And that's where the 3D, 3D modeling is happening, yeah? Yeah. Ah, no. So... This is yeah. This is where 3D modeling is happening here, yeah. and this is all fabrication where people are building and creating and making things. And so it's not it's not like textiles, no. No, no, no. no. You see, it's students and they're working. Okay. And that's a workshop, metal shop, spray room in there. Okay. And so in addition to the addition to the library, you know, there's also IT space and place where students can come and study. They also do some lessons in here. And uh, also they uh, do some karaoke. Wait a minute. Yeah. It must be the teaching stuff, yeah. Are you sure it's not karaoke? <laughs> Maybe a Friday. Yeah. Maybe, yeah. Friday night later tonight when the karaoke starts. And by the way, today is Friday. So let's call it a day. And we have already shown you the School of Architects. Write in the comments whether you liked it. Well, thank you very much thank for spending you. so much time with me. It's been fantastic, thank you. And I, I wish you a very good uh, and fun weekend. Oh, yeah, you too. Enjoy yourself, yeah? It's Friday. It's Friday. We're almost in... 4 o'clock, end of the working day. And we're in central London, so there's lots to do. Central <laughs> London, yes. And what else uh, usually bloggers say? You have to subscribe. Like and subscribe. <laughs> like and subscribe. <laughs>